the title of the April issue is Water, Our Thirsty World. This is called the layout room. We put the whole issue on the wall, full size. It's ironic that so many pictures actually aren't of places with a lot of water. They're places without water. It's a, a special issue, a single topic issue that we're doing, and we do them every couple of years. I think the thing that, that we want to do more than anything else in this issue is illustrate how incredibly precious water is. The water issue, it, to me, when I heard they were doing an issue on water, I thought this is the best issue that Geographic can ever do. This isn't like an emergency situation. Because in all the traveling and all the other stories I do, I, that topic comes up a lot, like uh, where are they getting water and is it clean? And no, it isn't. Lynn found her way to these places that had the problems. Nobody's in there solving them. So then you get it, it's more raw. We're looking at how people live, and we're sort of checking in at a particular moment in time and trying to give people the big picture. So much of the world's fresh water is locked up in glaciers, and there's whole civilizations live off of the reliability of that water coming from those glaciers that reliability is being threatened. Palestinian farmers that have been there for a long time can only drill their wells 50 meters deep, whereas Israeli settlements just next door can go down 150 meters. Apollo has images of people that are surviving on just a couple liters of water a day. This is a bad pun, but uh, water can be a dry subject too if it just becomes all issues. Every religion has something that relates to water in the religion in a purifying, cleansing, blessing sort of way. So we wanted to include that in the issue. Most freshwater species are incredibly threatened and, and things are going so fast we don't even know what we're losing. You need to stop and think about what you're doing to this water supply. We're all trying to figure out what to do next about climate change and the lack of water and the lack of clean water and how we've eaten all the fish. Water is one of those very important things that we take for granted and we tend not to appreciate it until we don't have it. Water sustains life. What I would like is for our photographs to make you stop and think and appreciate.